I'm Don Nutbeam and uh, I'm a professor of public health at the University of Sydney. Research has always been uh, important uh, for me. Uh, for now 40 years I've been an active researcher. I've uh, been in many roles in my career. Um, uh, uh, but even when I've been in, uh, in roles that don't have research as part of the, the, the job description, uh, I've still been involved in research. So I chair um, Suicide Prevention Australia's Research uh, Committee and uh, we as a committee um, oversee expenditure relating to a very generous grant given to uh, Suicide Prevention Australia by the federal government to support research into suicide prevention. What we're trying to do through the, the, the fund is to reach as broad a range of researchers and research ideas as we possibly can. And these range from uh, the, the early stage idea through to uh, a full-blown evaluation of uh, a, a program that's been developed and is ready uh, for formal testing. But we're really trying to build capacity for research into suicide prevention um, uh, from beginning uh, somebody doing a PhD through to continuing support for our best world-class researchers. I think one of the longer-term goals for the fund is to try to build a community of researchers in suicide prevention, uh, recognising that this is never going to be a large group. Part of our role, part of our goal, is to try to make sure that this group is a supportive group, uh, has access to each other's skills and experiences, uh, and that together uh, we actually create something that's uh, greater than the sum of the parts. And uh, this is a, a, a unique role, I think, that Suicide Prevention Australia can fulfil in developing research into suicide prevention in Australia. The fund uh, has been established uh, to support a full range of different types of grant. Some go to the best researchers in the country um, to continue and to develop their research and in particular uh, to look at ways in which research findings can be applied to direct benefit uh, to our, our, our communities. Clinical trials um, uh, are a very important part of the repertoire of research that takes us from a promising idea uh, to something that's proven one way or another. The ideas grants uh, really are much more to do with people who have an idea and we're at, we're at a much earlier stage uh, where we want to see the idea developed um, and uh, perhaps pilot tested in a particular community um, or a pilot tested with a particular vulnerable population um, to see whether it's actually practical and feasible to implement. These two approaches really complement each other. I think suicide prevention is a great example of where there's been a lot of ad hoc learning over many years, but perhaps not a systematic approach to testing and evaluating innovation so that the lessons learned are captured and that we're able then to translate those research findings into practical programs of action that actually benefit members of the community, particularly those um, who are more vulnerable at risk um, from death by suicide. And uh, what we're trying to do here is to take innovations, systematically examine them, and then try to find how we can best use what we've learned from that innovation uh, uh, and turn it into a practical um, programs that benefit directly members of the public. Some go to early career researchers uh, who are at a, an early stage in their research, perhaps working with some of our leading researchers uh, who we're trying to bring on and to help them develop skills to become outstanding researchers in the future. We, we punch above our weight as a country. Uh, we have extraordinary, uh, extraordinarily dedicated researchers um, who are more collaborative in my experience than I've seen in many other countries in the world. I think this stems from our history and geography uh, that we've had to become more self-reliant than you sometimes observe in different parts of the world and together um, that creates a really uh, prosperous environment for research. Uh, I really want to encourage as many researchers, whatever the stage of their career, to bring their talents to solving this complex problem of suicide prevention in Australia.